Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to the finale of Let's Play Kirby's Adventure! Last time we left off, we were just about to fight this guy, Evil King DDD, and you may notice that I don't have my parasol with me anymore, and I kind of lost a life trying to fight this guy previously. Ended up saving Noah over, but let's just ignore that and uh, focus on the now. Besides, I would rather fight this guy without any weapon, just, you know, mono we mono or puff against puff. I, I guess, I don't know, DDD a puff? I don't know, he can suck in for endless amounts of time without hyperventilating, so I'm, oh, damn you, running into me like that. So I'm guessing he's a puff, but I think he also might be a penguin? Maybe he's a penguin pup. A penguin pup. Maybe he's a peep. I don't know. Whatever. I better if you put him in the microwave, he explodes. Uh, anyhow, uh, so this is King DDD. He's actually really easy. The, uh... Only things you really have to watch out for is that sucking move right there. Um, that's probably his trickiest move, because you don't really see it coming. Uh, he can do a number of things. Most of the time he'll do this hammer strike, and that's when you get an opportunity to hit him. Uh, this whole flying around thing can kind of be a little tricky, because he, do, he does fly pretty fast. But um, it's pretty easy to evade if you fly yourself and just use the slide. Uh, shouldn't be any problem. And uh, I don't know, there's not much I can say about this guy, really. I mean, just he takes quite a few hits. But, uh, he's, there's not a whole lot of strategy here, just don't get hit, you know? You can see his attacks coming from pretty far away, except for the whole, uh, whenever he might try to inhale you. So, try not to be that close, necessarily. Uh, but, you know, you'll see when he's gonna do the hammer, when he's gonna jump up like that and try to smash you. Um, very helpful move in Smash Brothers Brawl, by the way. I like that one a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's really all you can say, and here we go! Finish him off! Boom! Oh, look at him! <gasps> he's all shocked, like, what? And then just falls over with the twitchy foot. Very Japanese of you, DDD. Very Japanese. So here's the technical level 8. The Fountain of Dreams and Kirby breaking the fourth wall there. I gotta love DDD, though. Like, damn it. Seriously? Seriously, are we gonna do this? No, no, you... Oh, for the love of God, DDD. Jeez, no self-respect, I'm telling you. Alright, now just BAM! Sure you can right there. I'm gonna put this in its rightful spot, and we're all gonna be happy, alright? Everything's great now. Hey, what the hell is that? Some sort of a beach ball has appeared. Oh, uh-oh, it's causing Kirby to do his happy dance. A little bit too happy, maybe. Oh, God, Lord, what could this be? Oh, I've been sucked up and fired into the outer space. Oh, my gosh, what is happening? Oh, things just got really epic all of a sudden, fighting this beach ball in the, in space. So, uh, dun-dun-dun, guess what, guys? DDD was not the true final boss of the game. Oh, no, now we have to fight this guy, uh, whose true form will be made, uh, clear soon enough. He has two forms. Um, I actually really like this. This is just, this just takes me back to any really good, you know, shoot em up for, uh, for the NES. Uh, actually reminds me a lot of the final fight in, uh, Devil May Cry 1 that you have against, uh, that guy. What was his name? I don't even remember. If you remember that guy's name, let me know, because I, I can't even remember anymore. But, uh, yeah, you know, where you're just, like, flying around. It completely changes up the gameplay. You don't do anything like that in the entire game up till that point. Same same goes for this. Uh, this guy takes a whole hell of a lot of damage, but pretty much everything he does is really easy to avoid, except for this move right there, where the stars cross. And he only seems to do that when he gets down to, like, his lower half of his health. So, uh, you know, but that's, it can be kind of tricky to evade that, um, just ran right into that one. But otherwise, you should take that guy out, no problem, boom! Grab ourselves, Mr. Warpstar, oh, how we love each other so, and let's go, chase him to the moon, to the ends of the earth if we have to, because that's how Kirby rolls. Oh, so what's going on on the moon here, huh? Hmm, is it made of cheese like we've always expected? Made of clouds, stars, hmm? Uh, I don't, apparently there's a lot of star craters on the moon. I had no idea, but, ooh, what's that in the distance? Ooh, it's not happy, whatever it is, shooting stars at me, my gosh. It's like I'm playing, playing the original Star Wars on the freaking arcade, when that was just like the vector graphics. Whoa, who is this guy? I have honestly no idea what this guy's name is. I, I don't even know if he has a name, I didn't look it up, uh, but, uh, I, I don't know. He's like a vampire with a big chin. Um, so what you want to do is to hit him, you have to hit him in like, his, his sparkly lower section, just like that. Yeah, that whole, like, I don't know, his, like, lower abdomen. That's what you have to hit him at. It's kind of a strange, uh, weak point. Um, but he gives you a lot of chances to hit him, and his attacks are not all that tough to, uh, to get around. 
um, you know, just stay behind him when he shoots stars at you. Um, that one, you know, that just, you know, be defensive more than anything. Uh, the best chance to hit him is right there when he goes into his tornado mode, as I like to call it. Uh, that's just your, your best opportunity to strike. Sometimes if you get behind him here fast enough, you can kind of land a blow. Couldn't, couldn't work anything out there, though, but uh, those are your two best chances. Otherwise, he does that, which he tries to, like, fly low over you, which I don't even think hits you at all. So I just slide to be on the safe side, but I really don't think it does anything. So, I don't know. You know, does the stars? Really not too hard of a final boss. I guess the only difficult part here is the fact that uh, you have to take on one boss right after another. And, oh, jeez, well, that was stupid of me to do that. But, you know, it's not like you ever run out of star rod power. So you should be fine. And I think I've only, like, I think this guy only has, like, two hits left, even. Um, he'll do this, like, upside-down tornado after a while. I don't know why, but I guess you gotta change it up. You gotta do what you can try to beat Kirby. You know, you gotta pull out all the stops. I mean, really, I'm the greatest threat here. You know, it's not, like, like Rorschach would say, it's not me who's stuck in here with you. It's you who's stuck in here with me. Let's be honest, you people. Uh, so, let's see if we can get him here. Nope. Uh, could get him with that one. Come on, just, just do it. You're done. You're done, evil guy. You're done. Boom! Right there, right in your spiral genie of colorfulness. Oh, whoa, Jesus, look at this thing. Man, it's going out of control here. And there you go, guys. Boom, we did it. We beat Kirby's Adventure on the NES. So what do we have to say as a sort of epilogue? Oh, well, that's actually how a crescent moon was formed. I didn't know that, but, you know, we learn something new every day, right? Let's see what else we have here. As Kirby ventures off. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. Yes, he did. Gotta love this NES text, how slowly it scrolls. But King Dedede did not mean any harm. Really? Really? Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. See, this is the part that kind of, like, I'm, I'm a little confused. A nightmare came to, to Dream Spring, so they're, and tried to cause pain to the people. They're trying to make DDD look like he was a good guy. But, okay, so DDD had, he foiled the nightmare, oh, he may have foiled the nightmare. He had him, like, imprisoned away by hiding the Star Rod from him, but he was still doing stuff for his own means, right? Like, he was still trying to take over the world himself. He helped Kirby beat the Nightmare. He didn't really help me. He tried to kill me moments before I fought the Nightmare. So now everyone's dreams will return to normal, yeah? Well, you know, one way or another, tonight Dreamland will sleep well. That's for sure. Thank you, Kirby. You've done a great service to us all. Oh, I love that guy. As he zooms off in his little star, and he waves to us, I think. Oh, wait, he's gotta jump first. And throw the star rod up into dun -dun -dun -dun, star rod fountain or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should make a star rod fountain in Minecraft now that I think of it. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, so we can all sleep well tonight. Well, that makes me feel at ease. I'll tell you that. Oh, we got stars falling, Kirby. There he is. Wave at him. Everyone wave. Oh, gosh. I love Kirby. He's so funny. He's such an adorable little guy. Or if he is a guy. I don't know. Beats me. And then we got a little credit scroll with the traditional Kirby music. I think they tried, are, are trying to show you how, what uh, weapon to use against the bosses here. I'm not sure. Actually, I think the spike worked a hell of a lot better than the throw technique did. This guy, I mean, I swear, this guy, the boss of the second world, is the hardest boss in the entire game. I kid you not. I mean, go try it for yourself. I swear he's the hardest. Uh, see, the sun and the moon, they weren't that hard. Uh, the fireball technique, yeah, that, that, that seems feasible. I mean, that's just a good weapon in general. And you can use that against just about anyone. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think this might be the best moves to use, but... I don't know, I think... What does he use here? Oh, tornado against him? I don't know if that would make sense, because you ha kind of have to use the uh, the high-flying move, or the high-jump move, rather, just to get up to, to fight this guy. I mean, you could just float up there. Oh, parasol against this guy, huh? Hmm. Actually, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Oh, well. Well, I didn't have that then. <laughs> that was not one of my options. Uh, that guy was actually a lot easier than I made him look like. Ben and Knight, of course, you had to fight him with the sword. So, what can he do? Well, what can we say about this game, guys? I mean, this is honestly one of the best aged NES games there are. It's right up there with, like, Mega Man 2 and 3, um, Mario Brothers 3. It's right there. It's got great graphics. It's got great music, great power-ups. Um, it's got, got, you know, kind of a humor about itself, obviously. Seriously, like, if you've never played this game, um... Maybe you think it's too too dated as far as Kirby games go. This game is amazing, so I highly suggest that you check it out. 
Uh, next time, we're going to be doing another NES game, of course. You know, that's mostly what we do around here. But it is going to be another classic. I guarantee you it's not going to be some sort of obscure title that you may or may not have any interest in. It will be another NES classic, so you can look forward to that. Otherwise, we got Plants vs. Zombies still going on. That's probably going to go on for a little bit longer. Anyhow, guys, I've taken up enough of your time. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not. And I will talk to you all tomorrow.